So 2023, and I thought what better to do on a cold winter day while the fire's on to run through my entire flotilla of unicycles. Yes, caveat out of the way, I know I'm obsessed. I know there's a lot of them. I like them, and this is why. And we'll go in order of hanging rather than in order of uh, when I obtain them because they've all had different iterations over the years. This one here is a 24 inch unicycle with the Chris Hong 24 inch frame. But what makes it slightly special is I remember getting this rim. It's the Surly Large Marge 65 millimeter rim. Uh, I got it when I was living in the Czech Republic in Prague and I sourced it from CDK based in Lyon in France. And the, the, the Romain, Romain built it up for me uh, on a 32 hole hub. And originally I put it in my Triton frame, but on this one, I've recently pushed, put it over into this Chris Holm frame with an outboard disc because I felt that that was a better fit for this small, compact little Muni. I don't ride it that much. That's why it's hanging in this corner, but the wider rim and this big three inch classic uh, Duro Wildlife Leopard tire is an excellent cruising small unicycle. We then move on to this unicycle here, and this is Blue Shift. Blue Shift is a specific, very unique geared unicycle. It's got two speeds. Uh, they're manually selectable. You can change your little uh, bolt here to change it from one to one ratio, or you flip it up and it goes into 1.5 ratio. It's got a custom hub built by a nuclear physicist uh, based out in Seattle, Greg Harper. He built the hub, I think he built two of them, and the hub's called Uni.5 because of its ratio. So when you move that crank round, it does what a shunt does. It gears it up. And it's running a very narrow tire, a 2.1 inch tire. I put this tire on, it's a Cult Vans, uh, sort of more um, BMXy style tire, but in a 29 inch wheel, quite nice. And it rides really well on this Velocity Dyad rim. Custom frame, all of it's custom. Uh, Steve Howard made this frame, I understand, and it's got an original old school air saddle that you can pump up via a little inlet on the back. I love this unicycle. I will at some point do a proper dedicated review of it because it's just so unique, but I'll link below this video to details about how I got this and more about it from my perspective. If you're hearing any noises, it's baby Florian. Moving on. The most recent acquisition to the Mind Balance flotilla of Monomania is this pretty much all stock, it is all stock, KH27.5, got it off eBay. I've put this Ursley bar, the short one, on here on the Fusion One saddle, bolted it on, covered it with a sort of leather end. Let's take that B out of the way and you can see a bit better, yeah. I love these bars, they're fantastic for customising saddles you already own and it rides really, really well, and it's great that you can grab the brake from either side with ease. I really like the big fat tire that comes stock with this. It's a 3.25 inch Duro Crux tire, but everything else is stock. It's with the rather boring black frame from Chris Holm. Thankfully, he's changed into blue, and it's got a mad for one seat post clamp, but everything's black on that one. So back you go, B. And moving on, this is my 36er. This one has a little bit more of a story to tell because the frame is the old Knight Rider um, steel frame. This interesting cantilevered type design, steel, not so modern maybe. But I picked this up on sale from unicycle.com in the UK when they were just literally trying to get rid of them, I think. I probably paid £30 for it. And I had an inkling that at some point I might want to build something with it. And that inkling came true because lo and behold, at some point during a complex project involving lots of 36 inch wheels, I opted, a bit stupid, I opted to sell my KH36, which is quite a nice ride, but I opted, opted to sell that after building this one. And this one, I wanted the steel a wide hub, so this is a 125 width hub. All of these other unicycles you see are 100 width. 
So it's a, a wider hub which makes for a stronger 36 inch wheel. It's got the tri tried and true Dominator 2, Stealth 2, I can never remember. This big green, can't, hard to miss rim. The only thing I've added to it myself is this original 2017 uh, version of the V rubber T Monster track monster tire that I got from Slovakia and this rides really well it's almost a muni tire but when you pump it up to 45 psi you get a really nice smooth rolling experience from my from my uh, time with it it's got a street cage street saddle up here with a green thing that I've added on and the classic t-bar yeah you need long legs to uh, ride a 36er so this t-bar runs up there it's got the brake on it it's got a bell and I really like that combination actually. That rides nicely because you can put your hands up further out. And that is my 36er. Moving on to more specialized unicycles. We've got two schlumps here. And this one was an absolute lucky find. I picked this up. It wasn't looking like this originally. It had different tire and a not very nice saddle on it. But I picked this up for 750 quid and it's a geared 200 series Schlumpf 26 inch unicycle. At the time they're very rare, obviously they're making new hubs now, but when I got this they were as scarce as hen's teeth. And it's got moment cranks, love moment cranks with the 150-125 dual holes. It runs so smoothly, I don't think it's I think it's hardly ever been ridden when I when I got it, certainly. Um, and then I've customized this by putting this yellow saddle on. Uh, short Ursley bar, just like before. Um, it's got this nice braided HS33 Magura brake, and then also race face Jester yellow pedals, and a little yellow dice cap. And I managed to also find this hard to source, no longer made, Ardent 26 times 2.6 tire, which some people give it a bad rap, but I found this absolutely phenomenal for this ride. So this is an amazing little unicycle, quite heavy. I do love it and I think it is now in a state of uni perfection. Um, and moving on to another geared unicycle. This is a very original before the Schlumpf hubs became Chris Holm branded Schlumpf hubs. And this one is Cotterless, so it's using Schlump's own Cotterless cranks. It has the reaction torque uh, system baked into the, uh, the bearings themselves, rather than having a, a little arm that bolts on. So it's an oddity, really, because most people who know about Schlump's know about the ones that have the arm that bolt onto there, and know about the Isis ones that use compression here on the knurling. This one has that system, but it's not Isis. However, this one was my big project because I found it secondhand. It was built as a penny farthing. The frame was flipped the other way around and it didn't have any logical or feasible means for me to put an ordinary saddle on because all of this had been welded to take the top bracket of the penny farthing, but I decided to chop away and create my own uh, seat post out of what metal was poking out there, and it works perfectly. The Magura brakes work well. I had to slightly shim up one side of this to get it in balance due to the way it had been cold set, because as you can see, this frame shares the design of this frame, but this frame is set at 125mm pitch across, but all schlumps currently in this era were 100. So this frame has also been squashed and there's been some machining taken out of the insides of those bearings to allow it to fit. So it's been hacked around many different things. I think that's about 15 years old or if not more, it's quite an old machine, but it rides very nicely uh, at this stage, I'm a, I'm a beginner in 36 geared riding, but I have had a little taste of it and I'm already 
I have another inkling. Inklings are the thing that lead me in all my unicycle decisions. I have an inkling that once I push past the beginner stage, I will just love geared 36s more than anything else. And that's the reason I've got this. So those are the, th those are the one, two, three, four, five, six unicycles hanging here. And these hang here as a way of storing them, as a way of me seeing them. I like looking at them. I find pleasure from that as well. But also they allow me to rotate out ones that I feel are my dominant rides. So I have two other unicycles upstairs in what I call the dominant riding mode. That means they're easier to get than having to unhook them and unlace them and pull them down. And here we are again. So I went, I went upstairs to get the, the, the remaining three, as it happens. Um, and these are my dominant rides at the moment. So I'll talk about this one quickly. This one is my pride and joy, mainly because um, it's got a Triton frame, which I managed to get from... Sorry, Brian's waking up. Uh, pride and joy. I got this frame from CDK when I was living in the Czech Republic. It's had multiple different uh, versions of things I've written in it. I put the 24 inch wheel in it originally. But when I decided to build my own 29 inch wheel, I did this wheel myself and I wanted to stick with Maguras on this to keep it as the frames intended. And so this wheel with a Triton frame and my own uh, self-built wheel, uh, this unicycle I mean, plus the KH Fusion 1 and a long Ursley bar, it's just the, the cross-country, do-it-all, ride, canal paths, go everywhere I want with it, and I love it. So, that's that one. I'm quickly moving over from that big one to the small one. This one, to my shame, I don't ride much, but I credit it with one specific thing. I took about three years out from riding unicycles, and I even sold my KH20 during that period. Stupid me. But I bought this when I wanted to get back into unicycling and every other wheel I had terrified me. So I bought this and it got me back in because the small wheel allowed me to feel, okay, I can take it out without really worrying. I still like having a 20 inch around because this impact gravity ride, I think my daughter and my son eventually will all end up using this one. And so it's there as a great training option. And before we get into a full-on crying session, hello. Um, this is my oldest unicycle in my collection. This is Olympus Oregon. I've recently switched out the tire to a on one 4.0 inch wide tire, and I changed this the stock bar to the Flans Flansberium Jacob Flansberry, his bar on the front. But this is how I pretty much had it when I got it from UDC back in 2012, roughly around then. And I've had this with me pretty much everywhere I go. Um, I rem okay. So, from oldest to newest. So, hey. Hello. So, this unicycle here represents the first time I got really excited about a unicycle, big time. I remember um, UDC sending me some, some teaser shots before they'd sent it out, and I was very, very excited to see this one arrive when I was living in Manchester. And it is obviously a fat unicycle, a fat ride. It works well in snow, doesn't it? And it's got moment cranks, 150, 125 dual hole cranks. It's just such a nice machine and I'm glad, I'm glad I never sold it. And at the moment it's out in dominant riding mode because I want to test this tyre across wintry muddy tracks here in Bath. And with that, that wraps up my entire flotilla of unicycles which is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and a few more on their way. See you out on the trails. Hey. Unicycle.com.